so majestic looking. All that fog comes right out. Look at the colors on him. Insane. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna be getting a red eye tree frog. For this tank right here, I used to have my dart frogs in them, but we actually gave them to my buddy Kevin who actually like breeds dart frogs and sells them. So I had this tank laying around, left over, and the other day I was at the pet store and I saw these little red eye tree frogs and I absolutely fell in love with them. I was like, wait, those things are insane. We gotta get some. So I talked to the lady, she told me a lot about them and what we needed to care for them. Pretty much almost had everything because dart frogs and the tree frogs are pretty similar in housing wise. They pretty much have the same needs. We got this fogger right here and it's pretty much just going to keep this very, very moist because they love it. So we got to redo this tank first and then we are going to head to the pet store and get our new red eye tree frog for this tank. I think it's going to look insane. Once we're done finishing it, plants, everything, substrate, everything, I think it will look insane. What do you guys think? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right, so we're getting all these leaves out right now because we are gonna put a different substrate down. We're gonna put bark. And we're gonna pick that up while we're there. But for now, let's get everything out so it's fresh to start when we get home with our new red-eyed tree frog. So the reason we have the fogger is like I mentioned before, they absolutely love humidity. And all the fogger's gonna do, it's, a, it's actually on a timer. So like every like four hours, it will put a bunch of fog into the tank and make it really, really moist. And everything in the tank also very, very moist. And that's what the frogs love, so. Big, big help with that thing. Instead of like with a, a bottle every like two hours spraying it, that does it automatically. Pretty uh, spoiled frog if you ask me. <laughs> we're gonna get all these leaves out though in the meantime. Once we're done with that, we're heading to the pet store to see our new red eye tree frog. And you guys are gonna flip out because I I know everyone sees them like all around the internet. They're kind of like the, the frog that everybody knows. And this is like my first time seeing them in person and I absolutely fell in love. The colors on them are insane. We're gonna finish this up and then We'll pick the camera back up when we're done. All right, guys, so make sure you get a good look. This is a little before. Look how it looks right now. Nothing too crazy. Just got a bunch of little logs and stuff, but when we're done with this thing, it's gonna look insane. Got the tank all cleared out. We left a few leaves because we're gonna pretty much just go over it. And with this tank, I actually have layers. We got rock, we got soil, and then we're gonna have the bark on top. We also have this little Gatorade bottle in here that I cut in half and it goes straight down to the bottom. So if there's ever water just sitting at the bottom here, dirty or anything, we can actually just siphon it all out and it will all be dried up down here. So that's a cool little feature I added to this. And yeah, it's pretty much set to go. We just gotta add plants and then get our red eye tree frog and I think he's gonna love his home. So let's head to the pet store and pick up our new red eye tree frog. So I think we're gonna go with two because, what, they do better in pairs? Yeah, they do better in pairs. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with two, and the tank that we have is actually just like the perfect size for two of them. Really, really pretty frogs. Oh, look at these guys. So insane looking. We wanna get a, a video of their eyeball. I'll show you everything, and then I'll grab those while we're... Perfect. All right, so right now we're gonna get, get some substrate, some decorations. Let's see, we got a bunch of stuff right here. And most of all the the plants that you want are over there. Perfect. We're gonna get one bag of bark right here. And then here are the plants we're gonna need. We're gonna pick out a few of these guys and then we should be good to go. Get in a little uh, temporary enclosures for when we're bringing them home. Set up. But yeah, these guys are just beautiful looking. I know. Look at them. That's what got me. When she, when she showed me the eyes the other day, I was like, holy cow, we gotta get one of these. And today is the day. But we're actually gonna be getting two of them because apparently they do better in pairs. So we're gonna grab two of these guys. I think they're gonna love their new home. So I ended up getting a bunch of little fig plants, bark for the substrate, and then I got this one right here that we're gonna probably put in the ground. These guys are gonna go on the side of the glass so they can hide and camouflage in them. And this one's gonna go on the bottom. All right, here we go. They literally just like glow, it's insane. Holy cow, look at that. There's one, oh, oh, look at that frog. Wow. And that's why they call them red-eyed tree frogs, right there. Look at how pretty that is. Don't they absorb through their skin as well? Yes, they do. Okay, so yeah, Delicate anytime hair. we do handle these guys, we gotta make sure our hands are clean because everything that we touch kind of gets absorbed by their skin. And look at them. 
Oh, he peed on me. Oh, he just peed. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get him in his little home here. But, yep, there he is. We gotta get some names for these two guys. There they go. Red eye tree frogs all packed up. So this guy right here is actually a little older than him. He's full grown. He's almost full grown. Are these males and females or? I have no idea. We have no clue. So we may have some baby tree frogs. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Look this is one of my favorites. Look at the eyes on him. Crazy. Oh my gosh. So pretty. He's like, I want to jump. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's awesome. But like, the, look, so there he goes. Cool. Wow. The coloration on these guys are The stomach awesome. eating is just insane. The blue on the stomach, very, very oh, pretty. Yes. Orange feet and then the red eyes and the green body. Awesome colors. Yes. We are back home. We got our little tree frogs right here. Look at how cool these guys are. So that's actually the underneath of them. And then this is the top view of them. Look at those eyes on that guy. Insane. And then the side of them, they got that blue and yellow. Orange feet, red eyes, green body, really, really cool. All right, first things first, I'm gonna take this, open this up. Like I mentioned before, we got gravel, soil, and then we're gonna have the bark on top. Just gonna dump this stuff literally all in here. We want the whole bottom to be filled. And we'll spread it out once we're done, but whole bag going in. Spread everything out. I think that looks sick, huh? It's amazing. Put some right there, cover that bottle up. All right, done with the substrate. Now it's time to add the plants, but the substrate actually looks really, really good. You gotta add the plants and then we're almost there. This plant first, going in right here. What do you like that? I think that mm. looks pretty cool. Bottom plants in. Now we gotta put the ones that go on the top here. The tree frogs are gonna love to stay on the sides and the glass just because that's where they feel safe and they actually hunt like on the glass. So we gotta make sure they uh, feel pretty safe up here with all these plants. They're gonna camouflage right into these. Perfect. Just like that. Boom. It's crazy how the plants can make such a big difference. You guys are going to have an awesome home. Where should this one go? That corner. Do you like it like right here? Perfect. Perfect. That's so cool. Look at that. That looks insane. Wow. We got one more plant. Where should this guy go? Should we put it like right here so like the whole yes. top is all like jungle and then the fog's gonna come out from the corner and it's gonna look like it's coming out of the plants. That's sick. And I also got some moss. Pick this up for the Pac-Man frog, but we can also use it for the red-eyed tree frogs. Just add this, make it like really natural looking. The moss is actually really good because it holds water like crazy. Add a few pieces, some blank, empty spots. Let me know how you guys think this looks. One to 10 so far. At the end, we're gonna rate it one to 10, but so far, I think it looks pretty good. You got a lot of room to hide out and stuff. Put a piece right there, stuff it in there. Looks really, really natural. The goal is, we're using a lot of fake plants and pretty much fake everything, but we're trying to make it look as natural as possible. And so far, I think that looks pretty natural. All right. We got the fogger on. We're gonna see how this thing turns out. Let's see, let's see. You ready? Oh, look at it. Look at all the fog coming out. It's gonna just get way thicker than that. Just wait for it. But look at that. It looks like it's coming out of the plants. The fog machine is on and look at that. It literally looks like it's coming out of the plants. And then once we have these doors shut, it will literally fog this whole thing up. And then we're actually gonna show you right now. Ready? I'm gonna close the doors for like five minutes and then watch. Look at how foggy it already is. You can't even see in there. It's literally identical to a rainforest, but watch what happens when we do this. All that fog comes right out. So that's why we have the glass, because it's gonna hold all that fog in there and get everything really, really moist the way they like it. It's now time 
to add our tree frogs into their new cage. We are gonna have to add one thing I totally forgot while it was out, but we're gonna get a little water dish. These guys mostly drink off leaves and stuff like that, but you can add a little water dish. So yeah, think the tank, rate it right now, one through 10. How do you think it came out? Let me know in the comments down below how you think the cage came out. So before handling these little guys, you want to make sure your hands are wet. Non-chlorine water, just because they pretty much absorb everything through their skin. They're very similar to the Pac-Man frog. They're not really an animal you handle a lot. More an animal that you can look at, and if you want to hold them or something, you can, but you just got to make sure your hands are clean. Washing the hands up. How you doing? Hands are all clean. Time to add them in. Look at that guy. Holy cow. Look at his eyeballs. I got both our tree frogs on my hand right here. This little guy's looking at us. This guy's turned away, but look at the colors on him. Insane. And then look at the eyes on this guy. He's like, hey, how you doing? My name's Frog. Here you guys. This guy go right here. You wanna go? Oh, okay. There one goes. Also, come on, right now, we need names for our two red-eyed tree frogs. They're gonna absolutely love it in here. We got one of our little frogs out right now. Don't know where his buddy's at. I think he's somewhere up in there hiding. It's kind of a little, like, cave. Go back up in there, but this guy's out just chilling on this branch right here. Looking really majestic. We're gonna close this up. Let it get all foggy in there, and then let them enjoy their new home. Also, comment down below what videos you want to see with our new frogs. You want to see like a feeding video, anything. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see, and we'll make sure that we do those. So, with that being said, we got our new red-eyed tree frogs. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below some names for our new red-eyed tree frogs. Happy New Year to everybody. This new year is going to be insane. We have videos dropping every other day, so make sure you guys are subscribed. They're going to be absolutely insane videos. I promise you guys, I won't let you down. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya!